Here I am once again for another great video of my, um, which, which means this is me Brooklyn Mass again, and uh, I'm on multiple accounts like Home of the Good Guys and the other accounts. So with, it, with this with me now, I'm going to present to you another great uh, item, which actually I had this for a long time, and guess what? I finally present to you my my GE digital clock radio from the early 1990s and as you see it's in, still in good condition when I first got this this uh, clock radio uh, it was very good I had this for a long time and um, the clock works great and uh, everything works nothing broken and uh, all of it is in good shape and when I first got this uh, clock radio back around 1993, I actually got this one because uh, I had it since I was a youngster, but I had it till now. But I'm not going to give it away. But this is actually it's like new. It's from the early 90s, but um, it's, not, it's almost vintage. But I don't know. It came out in the early 90s. So um, to demonstrate, I'm going to show you my my the functions. Yep, see, it has a GE logo on there, it has the GE digital clock radio. You have the sleep, wake, hour, and minute buttons. The wake button where you can set the alarm to wake up uh, when you when you go to work. The sleep when you can, uh, you can yeah, you can push the button when the, the radio is on. And uh, you, there's your off on switch and well, as well as music and alarm switches as well and you got the snooze there's the the snooze button is where you where you where you could push the button to turn off your music um, to sleep and over here there's um there's a date code which is 20 was this 2307k the model and it's got the um, yep it has a battery compartment. It it can store. You can use it for six. This nine volt. It has to put in your nine volt batteries in there. It's got a nine volt battery in here, but it works. But the battery compartments, no loose compartments, they're included in there. That's a battery, and um, it's made in M Malaysia. Power source is uh, AC120 60 hertz 4W input. It's polished in wood grain finish on poly polystyrene or whatever. The model number is 7 4612 b Oh, and uh, it's got those hazardous cautions and stuff like that. And it's made by. Um, GE Consumer Electronics Products Manager Consumer Ele Relations PO Box 1976 Indianapolis Indiana 46206 Now for demo Yep got here's your clock there's a um, there's a digital there's uh there's the the on screen this is the clock display and rather than the little round times you can set your minutes on here and you can put your hours on here you can see the a.m. or a p.m. that's a battery backup and there's your uh, there's the GE emblem the GE logo which which is right here but the musician you gotta love that it's a GE logo you gotta love that one and it has your a.m. and f.m. dial positions which is the uh, this is the uh, then and Here's, uh, here's the other controls you have on the right is there's the volume, the tuning, and the AM and FM switch. So for now, I'll give you a demo of this. So here it goes.
And now for the AM switch. And first, if you turn on this alarm, it's right here, the, the, the music switch, there is the music and the alarm. This is the music ones. You should hear is push the sleep button. And if you, uh, if you want to turn off before you go to bed, just hit the snooze button. And there it is. And there's the wake time, as you can see the alarm sets off. But I'm going to show you the... Um, the one thing you can find is uh, it's at the time. And there's the alarm switch. So uh, with me right now, um, I'll just sit for one minute and um, see it. There it is. See, that's the, that's the alarm sound. Well, there you have it. My GE digital clock radio from the early 90s, from the 90s. Of course, uh, I actually love the GE. It's from the same brand that brought you my my Wildcat portable record player. I had, actually I had it a few months back. And look at the name. I gotta tell you one thing about this. Um, this name has nothing to do, reminds me of High School Musical. If you remember High School Musical, that's the, the East High basketball team known as Wildcats. Yep, they just got the name. And um, I forgot to say that um, the, the musician was commenting on uh, on his um, on my videos on the power supply uh, on my recent vid that it was made in 1975, but uh, I was wrong. It was not made in 1972 because the overarm. I gotta tell you what you can see here. It was made in uh, probably when it started around 1974 when that when GE made an overarm that had the rectangular ones, and this was when it came out in the mid 70s and. This is probably my, and this is not my 1972 GE Wildcat record player, the one that the musician has. This is a 1975 GE Wildcat record player, but actually it was made by GE, it's in excellent shape, but I try to edit my description and, and even the, the title as well. But um, this is actually the 1975, like I said, the 1975 GE Wildcat. And this one's probably one of, my, one of the very last uh, record players made by General Electric. Because after that, um, Emerson started making the version of the Wildcat record player. But it has the GE design. But it, 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 instead of this one, it, add, it has a BSR turntable instead of uh, instead of the GE turntable. But it's kind of a kind of interesting. So as I said, the 1975 GE Wildcat record player is probably one of the very last record players made by General Electric. And and there you have it. I'm, out, I'm running out of time right now, so I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed my GE, my my demonstration of my GE digital clock radio. Talk to you later, and I'll see you in my next video. And stay tuned for more of my uh, other stuff. So Christmas is coming up, and I will be doing this right after Thanksgiving. So I'll give you a special announcement. So thanks for watching, and take care, and I'll see you later.